It comes as a surprise to no one that not a lot of people are reading books these days, and although I've liked books since a very young age, here I'm going to tell you why maybe books aren't that great. Number 1. Books are slow. If you sat on a book and expected it to go at Mach 2 speed, you'd be gravely disappointed. And so would you if you expected it to blow your mind from the first paragraph. Books are a slower medium than movies, than shows, than shorts. Books take a longer time to get accustomed to, to get immersed, to understand what they truly have to say. Of course, this does also mean that you get a much greater reaction. The cathartic moments are much deeper, your emotions for the characters much greater, and even the immersion is much better. Number 2. Books can't be enjoyed anywhere. If you sat on a bench waiting for the bus, how many people are scrolling through TikTok or Reels? Almost all of them. Now, how many people are reading books? None. And that's for a good reason. When you're reading a book, it's almost as if the meaning is encoded into words, and you have to spend some cognitive energy deciphering them. And if it's sunny, or loud, or the wind is blowing into your ears, it's much harder to concentrate. Now, there is an advantage that books have over other types of media. You choose the speed that you read at. So, if you have to concentrate harder on something, you can read slower. And you can always go back a few pages, something much harder with a movie, or a stupid little video like this one. Number 3. Books are expensive, heavy, and take up space. See the shelves behind me? They could have been filled with a lot of different stuff, but I have to use them to store my books. Some were expensive, some not so much, but each one of them had to be bought. And books are heavy, take up a lot of space, just look how hard they are to carry around my backpack. And why buy a book, only to read it once and have it collect dust? Well, I actually enjoy reading a book multiple times. Not only that, but having it close makes looking up stuff really easy. And for me to be more likely to read it again, or even for the first time. Books are physical items, which gives them a certain weight that simply doesn't exist otherwise. And if you find it expensive, you can always borrow a book from a library for free. Number 4. Books are hard to share. Now, if you like this video, you can first subscribe and then share it with a friend. If you like a book and want to share it with a friend, you can either A. Lend it to him, which is hard because you stay indoors playing League of Legends all day, okay? Or B. Have him buy it, which is even harder because he stays indoors playing World of Warcraft all day. If only there was a website where you could go on and download books in digital format and then share them. Okay, maybe your friends don't read the same stuff that you do, or at all. Then there is that magical moment when you meet a like-minded person who has read the same things. Only if there was a website where people who think the same can create communities and make posts. I guess there is no solution. Number 5. Reading takes too much time. Okay, even if I can wait for it to get good, it takes too much time to finish a book. Well, how much actually? The average book takes about 7 hours to read. Okay, you're a slow reader, let's say 10. Even with that, if you read 30 minutes every day, it would take a little less than 3 weeks to finish a book. But you don't spend 30 minutes every day. And that's actually fine. You don't have to spend a set time to read. If you like something, okay, go on, read it, until you get bored. If you don't like it, leave it and pick something else up. If you want to make something a hobby, make it enjoyable. Don't try to force yourself to do something that you don't like, especially if your life doesn't depend on it. Number 6. I can find the information elsewhere. Why read non-fiction when the internet is filled with articles, with tutorials, with videos? Well, a couple of reasons actually. Textbooks are great because they are built with relevant information and are very comprehensive. They go very in-depth 
and each chapter builds upon the previous one with interesting and relevant information. Yes, the internet is filled with videos and tutorials, but using textbooks not only helps you recall the information because it makes it much easier to find things that you've forgotten, but it also helps building theory alongside practice, which only deepens the learning process. Number seven, reading is just boring. If your experience with reading books was only with mandatory lecture, most likely for school, this is a conclusion you might have reached. You can't really expect anyone to do something boring for fun, so why read? Well, have you tried finding fun books? Let's say you like space exploration. Then don't read Shakespeare. Read Isaac Asimov, or Dune, or a book about astronomy. Don't try to make an interest out of reading. Integrate reading into your already existing interests. If you want to do it, make it easier, not harder for yourself. Books aren't inherently good, they're just a tool. A tool that has existed for a very long time and has been refined. Now, I know this was supposed to be a video against reading, so consider yourself trolled or clickbaited, I guess. I did want to provide here some counter-arguments to common arguments against reading books. So maybe you found something of interest. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some information. Thank you for watching and subscribe.